Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad, and in this series of videos, uh, which I like to call Daily Dose of Tarot, I'm going to present you with the message of the day, <clears throat> and uh, what the message is going to be about, is it going to be about love, or, or secret guidance, or a uh, job, career, etc., that remains uh, for uh, Tarot to decide, and... Uh, <clears throat> With that said, should you wish a personal reading with me, or if you do uh, wish uh, to take my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you can see a full list of my services as well. Uh, there, there, there you will see my website, and in it, you will see a full list of my services and as well uh, their, their pricing. So with that said, let's see what's uh, Monday, which uh, happens to be a 23rd of... Um, may has to offer to us let me get my camera preview so the first one that we have for monday that is going to be the king of pentacles the second card for monday that is going to be the strength card so it it, it goes like that and the third one which uh, actually happens to be from the other side of the king of pentacles that will be uh, the Seven of Swords. So we do have uh, those uh, three cards. And that is a uh, rather very interesting uh, elemental dignity that we do have. So the first uh, elemental dignity, this is a passive... <clears throat> Passive Neutrals, which happens to be in between uh, the King of Pentacles and the Strength card, and the other Elemental Dignity, and I'm saying that for those who want to uh, kind of get more deep into Tarot, is a Passive Enemies, which uh, is in between the King of Pentacles and the uh, Seven of Swords. So what this all boils down to, really, well, it seems that in Monday, we do have an individual that would uh, have something to do with us. I don't believe that this is about a romantic incentive yet by the look of those cards over there it's more about something that this person is considering is it really worth out being involved into it it's like a <clears throat> business venture or maybe friendship it could be also like uh, you know you want to go somewhere on a holiday and that person is not exactly certain she should should he or she come with you or not should he or she the a a part of the company out there or a not now usually king of pentacles they do have these type of people they do have a lot to give okay they have enormous amount of resources whether it is a uh, financial resources whether it is a uh, emotional resources like love like compassion all right like also a emotional support now their problem though of giving away those resources or rather like investing those resources it is that they are very very self-absorbed and at some point it feels like they don't need really anything i mean it's gonna be good thing to make business with you but at the end of the day not making business with you it's okay as well and that kind of makes them stuck a little bit all right that kind of makes them uh, how can i put it into words unmoving so to speak and the problem that we can see here there are actually two problems uh, by the way we can see in those cards now the first one comes from uh the king of pentacles and the strength card and this person kind of like feels um when i put it into words they see that you know what you are offering whether in business perspective or emotional perspective is going to be different for every single one of you guys that is a general daily reading so <clears throat> What you have to offer has a perspective, but they ask for a bit more assurances. I don't know how to put it into words. Warranties that things are going to work out. So it's more like they are asking for a bit more... Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, for a bit more assurances that things are going to work out and they are not going to fall apart. And the other problem that we do have that we can see into those cards, into these cards, it is in between uh, the uh, King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. And it seems this is something, by these two cards, this is something that they have not had in mind at all. It, it is like when you did propose that or when you kind of like reached out to them with a certain either a proposition or, right, or with a certain suggestion, that kind of like staggered them. 
right there because they were completely unprepared to kind of like face a such a version of the future so to speak and that's why for, because right now it seems that they already pre um predisposed where they are going to make those investments but in the same time they see uh reason and and you know plausible version into what you are offering to them whether in the romantic aspect or whether in uh, uh business aspect they are not in a very very comfortable position so how you can literally you know handle the the king of pentacles well I already said that, but let me let me tell you how they like to move forward. They like to move forward only when everything that they are currently doing is a secured. Okay, so if you really want to make something out of it, whether in romantic plan or whether in a in a personal plan, a business plan, I'm sorry, you make sure you help them secure what they are currently working on, and that will make them certain that they should invest in you, whether money, whether resources, whether time, whether love. And so that is uh, the message for uh, Monday, 23rd of May. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you do enjoy it, and uh, we are going to see each other. Uh, for the next one. Until then, bye.